All right, what we're looking at right now it happens to be a, a damper with a Belimo actuator on it. And one of the things I think uh, some people misunderstand is how spring return actuators work. So we're gonna take a look at this one real quick. We've got some opposed blade uh, dampers here and we've got one Belimo spring return actuator. Uh, this one here is an AFA24SR. Another little misconception is what does SR mean? Most people say, oh, that's spring return. Actually, it's not. SR is, uh, means it's scale range. Or it, I won't say it's necessarily scale range, I might be off on that, but that's what it means. It means that it's an analog uh, signal that you're gonna provide it. Really doesn't matter whether or not it has a spring return. In this case, this one does. But one of the things that uh, people misconstrue about how these work is that when you give it a, a signal, it'll power the motor to be able to open and close these um, with the signal that you provide it. But what happens is when you take that signal away, doesn't necessarily mean that this is gonna spring back to uh, whatever position you mount this in. It actually means when you take away the power to the motor, the power of the motor in this case is, uh, I believe is 24 volts, and that's what the 24 stands for, is 24 volts AC. So when you lose the 24 AC, that's when it springs shut. Now let's go ahead and manual this. There's a nifty little tool, and this one looks like it's been used before or whatever, but uh, th it'll be a simple little tool like this. It comes with every actuator. You'll stick it here in a, a little spot where it has a lock and unlock. Um, all you gotta do is uh, crank this the right way, and you'll notice I'm driving the damper shut. Now if I stop cranking, like let's say I'm, I'm a, an engineer and I'm needing to set this for a manual position. Something's wrong with the control system, I wanna set it. So I'm sitting here cranking it, cranking, I'm like, that's what I need, and then I let go, it's just gonna spring back. So the trick is, is that the whole locking and unlocking means that you gotta crank it, put it to where you want it, and then give it a little tick back the opposite direction then it holds. If I tick it back one more time, does a little click noise and now I'm back to driving to the spring. Right now we're not driving anything, there's no voltage from the control system at this point. This air handler is not in use so it makes it real good to try some of this stuff out. Um, some other things with the spring return is it depends on which way you mount this that you want the spring return. So in this case I'm actually driving the shaft of this damper and as you're looking at it, it's going uh, clockwise. If you wanted to rotate the damper counterclockwise, all you have to do is mount this actuator, flip it around, and then stick it right back where it's mounted now. Then at that point, the spring return action would be spinning the shaft counterclockwise. I'm definitely a fanboy of uh, Belimo actuators. I use them all the time. Uh, but like the saying goes, uh, you get what you pay for, and you're gonna get quality with Belimo, so be, be ready to spend some dollars on that. They're not cheap. Um, but like I say, they are quality.